What's up cloud gamers, welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel, your destination for all things cloud gaming. So today we're going to be reviewing the Shax S5B wireless Bluetooth controller for cloud gaming. So if you guys like this video, we do a lot of hardware reviews when it comes to cloud gaming. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this video. Let me tell you guys why this is the most unique controller that I've tried yet for cloud gaming. Let's get into it. All right, so to get started, let's take a look at the design. And I do have to say, this is not the most premium controller that I've ever held, but I have to say it's the most unique. And starting off, as you can see, this looks a little weird. It's a little funky, but let's take a look at all the buttons that this has. This has a select button. This has a start button, power button, and function button, which you can customize if you were going to use this to play games on your Android phone, like Android games. It doesn't really apply to cloud gaming. This is a back button. This is a home button. So the interesting part about this controller is they actually expect you to play games like this and if i bring in a traditional controller like the luna controller you can see width wise this is pretty similar to the size of it width wise right so they this is a good convertible they expect you to play games like this right and when you do that when you connect this to the pc and you play games like this like a traditional controller this has vibration and that's what you see here these fins right here, these grips right here are actually vibration. And this is one of the few grips like this control like this that actually vibrates. The Kishi doesn't and neither does the backbone. But that is pretty awesome, right? Also, the interesting thing here are the triggers. These are not your normal traditional triggers. These triggers are actually designed to fit with your fingers. So your normal traditional triggers go down. Like this is the, again, where's the Kichi? You see how it goes down like that? That's your normal triggers. But this goes down like this. It's like you're pushing down on it. So it's very unique. But I have to say when I first tried this, it was very uncomfortable. But the more I started playing with it, the more I felt like this was actually a better way to push triggers. And I think more controllers should use this. It's pretty interesting. And I think they got a pretty cool thing going on here. So when you open the control like this, you then are able to put your phone in. But I have to say, it's so difficult to put a phone here. You actually need two hands to do this because this controller does not work well with you. It's actually a struggle. As you can see to charge, it uses a USB type C, which is awesome. So the other thing I want to highlight here is that this comes with two D pads. So if you don't like this, it also comes with this, which looks like your Xbox elite controller D pad. So you can easily just pop this off and then plug this in and you should be good to go. So you got some customization there. This works with Android, as you can see here, windows and Apple. So you can use this on your iPhone and your iOS devices. So overall, not the most premium bill. It's all plastic, but it's very unique. And it's definitely one that will get a lot of attention when you pull it out in public. All right. So let's talk about some of the features. This works with again, Android, iOS and windows. You can actually use this on Chromebooks as well. This has a USB type C charger and when charged, you get about eight hours of gaming time, which I think is a lot. This also has vibration when connected to a PC and you're playing games or cloud gaming with this, you can actually get it to vibrate. Now it's not the best feeling vibration, but it's good enough to immerse you in the experience. All right. So to connect it, this is my Android device. I'm just going to push it to Android and I'm going to push the power button and this has a Bluetooth button right here. And once you do so by holding it, it connects it. As you can see, it should be connected to my controller. All right. So I do want to showcase this. Once you connect it, the shape of it actually looks really funny, right? It expands out more and it definitely gets a lot of people talking about this device. But this is what it looks like when, when you do put a phone on here, right? It's quite unique, quite unique looking. All right, so let's get into some gameplay. The cool thing about this controller is that it actually works really good. There's hardly any latency. Let me show you some trigger pushing. Very, very responsive. And again, you can plug in a USB-C wire from your phone to this controller to even get a better experience if you are worried about latency for sure. So 
this works really well and i've tried it with geforce now i've tried it with xcloud and i've tried it with stadia and so far i've had a pretty good experience playing all of these platform with this controller grip so the next thing i want to showcase is this actually random pc to kind of showcase the vibration so you guys can get a sense of what that actually looks like i'll put it here so maybe you guys can hear it better you hear that vibration so this does have vibration again when you connect it to the pc so again it's a good convertible controller for sure so my overall verdict would i recommend this so this is currently sitting at 60 dollars. again it's the five dollar coupon off right now on amazon if you do want to buy this but normally 65 dollars. so when you compare it to all of these controls that i have here i would have to say price wise it's one of the cheapest compared to the game sir s2 bluetooth and then you have the Razer Kichi being more expensive and then also the backbone being more expensive. I love the fact that they have vibration on here. Again, this is the only controller that gives you that when you compare it to these other three that I have here. When it comes to the way this feels, it's actually really comfortable. And when I was testing this out, I noticed that my fingers were not cramping. I love the button placement of this controller. My biggest gripe with it is that they advertise vibration, but the vibration only works when you connect this to a PC. I was hoping that when connected to the Stadia GeForce Now app on Android that you should be able to get vibration, but you do not. So that's kind of a bummer. The other thing that I would have to say that I kind of dislike about this controller is that, is that the analog stick feels really cheap, it's plastic. I'm sure you can get a low grip to put on top of it, but I just wish that they could have thought about upgrading the analog stick. And the last thing I want to say about this is that the trigger button seems really different, but the more you play with it, the more you start appreciating it. And actually, it makes it quite difficult for you to go back to using traditional triggers. So they did something unique here, but I think it paid off. So overall, I would recommend this if you have iOS and if you have Android, and if you do plan on using this on your PC, this is one of the most convertible controllers I've seen yet. And so, yeah, this definitely gets my recommendation. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Let me know if you guys are thinking about picking this up. I'm gonna have a link in the description to where you guys can pick it up on Amazon if you are interested. Alright fellas, appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time fellas, peace out.